Although for now, it seems G2 are just going to wait patiently and allow Fnatic to get control. And it's a good thing they did. A deep wall comes out of the attackers, and then they late split through mid. That has oh completely God. caught G2 off guard. Yeah, the, these are the sort of pistol rounds that you definitely don't see too often. The, the deep wall with reclaiming of any chance of the rotation, and while well, Nuke is very good in these clutch situations. I, I really like that we have the maps up top left. This solves the... I, I, I bet there's still someone in chat. There's always someone in chat. Hey guys, uh, who picked this map? Every time, dude. It's like, just like immediately and straight away. They're gonna have to go to a plan B. Maybe it's planning a little bit to the left, but no. It's losing Boaster. He's been headshot immediately. The attempted plan to bait them out into the open works. As if Ulva's caught. Another player spotted. There's only 10 seconds left, but only one player, and they've dealt with them. Fnatic. Uh, they, they have... But they're close now. They'll be able to get the trade on this if he's not quick. And Kellogg's has made it out. Dashing Meadow there, make sure that even though Kellogg's had to dash away, the other players weren't just given the free space to try and lurk through. And he's now going to go back for more and catch Mystic. That operator already worth its weight in gold. And you can see the remaining two players from Fnatic are just on complete opposite sides of the map, just trying to find anything they can. Hoodie's already spotted one, and Brave won't be able to connect. And for something a little bit more aggressive, and may maybe he still will. Not a lot of time left, and well... Meadow still had his setup available. Available just yet, and Avova's just got a delay. Just spamming his utility to try and make sure they can't get through. And actually, he's just caught the spike. That beautiful spam. He knew they probably wouldn't be pushed past that initial snake bite, and he's able to pick up one because of it, delaying them by an incredible amount of time. Honestly, 30 left on the clock. Shock darts are coming through. And Avova's walking on out afterwards. He's going to push into that ult. At least he thought about it for a moment, but he thinks better. Waits a second. Backs off, oh! and Hoodie, he can see through this by the looks of things. That is a gorgeous spray transfer. Brave was taken. Uh, I, I guess it, I don't think they're going to care. Like, sure, it is a, an extra. Being inside a Viper's pit randomly with a Vandal. It's not a tilting way to die, nor is that. Up on top of the wall, Kellogg's has just ruined Magnum's day. He's going out for more and oh! found it with Dirk and Delta. Oh, man, G2 found. And slowing it down, playing those picks on the off. Well, it's granted them a lot of kills, and Kellogg <laughs> seems to be unkillable. Never mind, he's dead. Boaster has a res. I, I don't know if they'll want to commit it right oh, no. here and now, but Brave has found another. This turns it into a winnable spot and definitely worthwhile, but it doesn't seem like he wants to give up his position. Instead, oh. he swings onto Meadow, who's caught off guard. This was a two versus five just seconds ago, and well... It's now res, honestly. Can't res them inside the snake bite. And Boaster's gonna have to get that plant. Not able to pop a res now. They're gonna rush him down. He's gotta play it. 1B2, he thinks maybe one's still coming from B main, but both have grouped up, isolating the duels, though, still. What a good job now, having a rough idea as well. Oh, the peak's coming through! Boaster's round in the corner just in time with a sliver of health. He'll get healed back up. He'll even pop the res. Now Nukia has to move quickly, rushing in towards that res, but he won't catch him! A 2v1 in Fnatic's favor, and they're running away! Nukia cannot catch them, so he tries to bait them into the open, already defusing no. it halfway, but they'll catch him in the end. Four kills for both Stones for G2, and then that's how it goes. A triple opening for Cal for a plant here. Patient stuff from Meadow, making sure to clear the angles, and that's the back line's gone. We've seen this deeper wall a little earlier, used to deny a lot of those snake bites, which people have been popping in, and Kellogg's, well, he's been spotted, but... He spotted his opponent as well. A lot of information currently for G2. The main worry is Boaster again in a fairly aggressive position. He's going to win the fight onto Kellogg's as well and make this a 2v2. One versus two of over low HP. Even spots him. The shock dart through should be enough. And indeed it is. They know where he is, but time is on his side. He just needs to keep this clock running down. Nukia catches him through the wall, though. And so the defuse will be found. G2 will four ultimates coming into this round. And immediately we're going to see a Hunter's Fury, but it's on Fnatic that it's popped already having tagged up Avova. He'll be down. And it looks like Meadow was going to get hit by it. Oh. <laughs> Boaster just about hidden shot starts landing and he actually gets out of there. It looked like he was dead. Darker has been getting farmed by Kellogg so far in this map. Every single shot connecting. Res comes to scenario. Still, there's a lot of after plant utility, and in fact, they were even gonna use a lockdown. That defuse though, that's gonna scare them. Movement's gotta be made. Evova's already got it halfway. Oh! He's still on it and he's going to get it right under their nose. It's you mean. And out he goes, but Durka catches him, finally punished for that over aggression hoodie. The back of yellow, good for the first, no res possible. Look at that, he's only got two.
charges towards it. Himself into the back of the side and oh. just closed the door on them. And instead, the players lurking through mid have been caught by new plan. He's had to put it the other way around to just try and get anything, and he's isolated himself. Yeah, that is insanely smart play from Hoodie. This guy came into the game. And I wonder if it's going to be the same re-aggression. I doubt it, because in this sort of round, such an advantage. Yeah, that wall's even going down as we speak. A shot through, not going to land. And a rush from Hoodie. Oh, this is getting a little bit scary. Hit activated. That, you know. Oh, okay. That's a good scalp to take. Now you can talk about the stinger being weak, but good luck fighting against it inside this ulti. True. Oh, that was close. Narrow range right up in his face, but even point blank Magnum comes out on top. The drone. It's a Hail Mary play to try and find that Viper. They won't do it just yet. But Mystic has been spotted now, spraying inside the ulti. He's going to try to pick a little bit more, but Nukia is making quick work of those off that right away. Bladestorm popped as they're going to attempt to use that height advantage. See over the utility, but they've lost Durka. They've lost Boaster. Oh, the whole team is gone. Fnatic only of Magnum. And he's dealt with quite quickly. Mystic was way, way back. And, well, you can see now he's he's coming to a pretty messy party. Time's the main issue here. Sure, there's three players on the other side, but with 15 seconds left, they have absolutely no reason. And they're just going to wall him off. Oh, they, oh no, he's had the reload. <laughs> he's, he's definitely going to run out of time. Oh, and oh, my God, that was close. That they're looking to try and plant for the opposition spawn. Fighting all the way into it as well. A great start from Avova. There is a trade back onto him at least. Facing some difficulty. They break open the wall. Now getting through that choke point is quite hard. The wall that they have from earlier, not really useful, but the bullets certainly are. Yeah, oh, it's Nuki that has to stop that defuse and he'll only get the one. Brave. Closing it out with a win the bonus as well, both times, and then somehow lose this map. That will be one of the most gobsmacking sides. That is not a spot you normally expect a Viper to be in. <laughs> this is second player here. Oh, okay. I, I figured they Nukia wouldn't expect Boaster, but in fact, Boaster didn't expect Nukia. And with those kills, G2 are going to start. Oh, needs to ever see that. It's his, it's his debut. We, we, give it, we give him a break. We give him a break, all right? Yeah, Tom, you've been really impressed. Timmy's been hitting the gym. He can now actually take oh, seven shots. There point. you go. He was warming up. He's warming up. Yep. That's all right, Brave. You have made it. This could be it. Viper is out here. If he checks it, dropping down. Oh, he can't reset in time. Well played by Evolve. Eight rounds to try and make a move. There's a gap. The split comes in. There is a gap in that wall. And they will have seen everything as they look to go past. In fact, Boast is going to go over the top. It's audacious as hell. But it actually works out. You've had Magnum finding two as they try and rotate back through the kitchen. And now they've only got 20 seconds. They firstly need to kill off Boaster, who is trapped. But it doesn't seem to matter. Fighting out of that corner. As if his life depends on it, I suppose it does. Yeah, it turns out they were stuck in there with both. And they've actually put the Viper's Pit straight down on the plant spot. Magnum just swings in. UK's gone. Blink and you miss it. Trade back from Avova at least, but again, the time is... There you go. Lockdown destroyed by the Hunter's Fury and even a connection onto Avova as well. Huge value. Playing onto the side. Oh, the snake no. bite gets hoodie. The spike is dropped because of it. Durka... Although he falls, this round is looking like it's definitely going into Fnatic's hands. Magnum gets rezzed up. There's no time left. What a beautiful round from Mystic. A round almost as beautiful as the man himself. A 3k, 10. A minute 15 on the clock. They haven't seen anything, so they say, hey, screw it. I'm going to pop up a recon. Oh, what am I going to do after that drone? I'm going to peek with Durka. Brave's going to go aggressive. Durka's going to fall down, then pop a blade storm, updraft, and then take that player down again. Aww. He's not going to give up. No space is given to G2 in this one. As they try desperately to push forward, it always comes at a cost, and that cost is in the form of bodies. This time, it's Fnatic to pay it, though. Losing Brave, and Hoodie goes down with the spike up up on top that is suboptimal let's say <gasps> yeah especially because his opponent was oh! almost spamming against him boaster he's got eyes in the back of his head and dirk is there to close it out as well ultimates as well one of the things that when speaking to mini about brave was that the way that the almost synergy the natural synergy that him and brave seem to have is what uh, him and Durka. Good bit of damage done. Durka and Boaster both quite low. Brave, though, able to catch the first. And as he's falling back, Durka goes down. The repositioning coming through. Boaster's here to play with him. I like this. Fnatic gonna try to make a micro play. The distraction was it. What? Brave what? still gets three. Taking his time.
There you oh, go. He's not going to expect Mystic to the be there. Did as they rotate. Brave, I think he's going for the jump spot. I don't know if he will have seen anything he hasn't, but it's with shots for Kellogg's. That was basically a free kill, and his teammate's gone down on the site to the utility of Magnum. Oh, look at this. They know that Meadow's down below, but somehow he still survives. Ghost in hand as he gets rushed, and a few too many players to deal with. The door down, stopped his teammates from helping. And with full control and a choke point to hold, that is an easy close for... clear out some of the players on this side of the map but yeah spike currently completely has fallen into the hands of Durka. but look at his position he's fighting in towards the spawn and almost being used as a bit of a bait but they do clear him out with the flash the problem is mystic is still here leaving it into a 2v2 he has 15 hp he doesn't stand a chance he's even gonna get headshotted it wasn't needed but this round is done yeah, Nuki is even called Knife Out running through mid. That's a free upgraded weapon and to be here. Great value brought up close, and he's able to get three before going down. Nukia, sure, he'll get the trade. They'll retrieve the weapon and look to bring it to sight. But Dirk is there waiting. The shock dart, well, <laughs> it might be shot, but... As well, so a lot of pressure going to be put initially onto Magnum, and he gets nothing. Yeah, Boaster wanted to try and help, but he got blocked off by the door. Now when the flash pops, he can't even... I guess just to guarantee that that plant comes through. This should be so easily locked down for the G2 side. Yeah, they, they've got to make a cross through this. They had a grab well to slow him down. And although they're going to be vulnerable, I don't know if Mystic's actually going to take this fight whatsoever. So they'll at least get away with the three for flash, not being able to have one. Oh, that's a great start. And even without a dash, Dirk is out of there. And they have a full rotation. There, there are multiple players here ready in the crossfire. And the trade's coming back thick and fast. Mystic is just going for it. Right click, shot dart might finally clear him out, but it still leaves two players standing. Swing back here. What? Oh, a little bit shaky. The new game almost closes it out, but it's the pistol. An opportunity to build it up. G2 have gone pretty aggressive. They've invested fully. Win this, Fnatic have got a great half, but this is so... <gasps> how? How? Kellogg just dashed right into Magnum and somehow didn't die, but eventually he'll fall and the trades go quickly in favor of G2 as they overrun the site. Well, that, that wasn't far away from Brave. Oh! oh. <laughs> See you later! And he's actually going to oh. pop the all and kill off Nuke as well! What a play from Brave! And he's just trying to delay the space onto the spike for the flank. That... Oh, that was gorgeous. That was an utterly good. Yeah, they can just pop this as soon as possible. Kellogg's maybe a bit of a surprise. And actually, Magnum, now incredibly low on HP, is just going to have to sit towards the back of the site. Mystic goes down as well. This gets scary. Ooh, sadly, it's an operator, but... Planted. I mean, just up against these pistols, you'd rather have the rifle. Uh, Dirk will do well to find the first. He knows if Ova's there. It's communicated over, but the pistols are... Oh, it's so many in numbers that they're able to keep on trading. The op of Durka now good for the one to dash out, but he's not able oh. to escape Nukia. The round will go to G... Durka counting his lucky stars on that. The Hunter's Fury paused out for nothing. Brave, ready for that flash to come through. So too is Durka. Durka not going to hit the shot. Oh, but the wall bangs for Brave. He's got a guardian, and he adds two and two together, realizes... Oh! No! Oh this is God. falling apart. It, it's not something that in most rounds you'd expect to use in this sort of case, but I wouldn't even mind it for Fnatic just to guarantee everything. They've spotted Nuka. They're pushing in onto Meadow, and Nuka's just got to save. And they just him move his way on over. Now, still tucked in is Brave, but they're ready for him. Free fire came through and Nuki wins out the duel. Boaster gonna try to pick off what little he can, but eventually it comes time to group with teammates. Three coming through B main. Now that is a peculiar strategy, but I now oh, they've been hurt. Oh, they've well and truly been hurt now. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> but how many can Kellogg's get? That's the real question. And the answer is absolutely <gasps> nothing. In fact, Hoodie's gone down as well. And they have a lockdown. In that afterplant scenario, UK knows he has to try and push this. He needs to fight for this round. And if he gets this next kill, he actually has a chance to break the lockdown. But instead, he's caught from Mystic, the last man standing. To and they've got wine clear. Lockdown coming into effect as well. As quick trades go down on short, G2 are going to quickly move to site. Under Fury to push Mystic out of position. It's going to work. It's going to take him down as well. He was stuck in the middle of site, and Boaster can't get out alive. Well, he can get out. He's got cover. I thought Meadow was going to run it all the way down. 
Now they're going to once again move together. It worked in the last round, and it started out the same way with Boaster picking up the opening. Tom, I'm getting a little bit worried here. Evolva's very low in HP as well. Uh, again, it seems like a lot of this comes down to how Nuke is going to be able to play it. Hunter's Fury already used in the round, and the pot flash to take that extra space. And this time, there is nothing that he can do. It's going to be the 9 3. And that's why this team has won every pistol round so far. Three out of three. <laughs> They're undefeated this year in pistol. The action, a push straight through mid. Oh, they've opened themselves up. I don't know how that's the shot he connects, but Kellogg's doing what's uh. needed of him. It is the battle of the Jets, though. Darker is going to go running through the smoke and meets his demise. Mystic has traded out onto Kellogg's and leaves just two players standing. The problem is, I, I think they want to fall back here. But Magnum's already in the site. Yeah, and that spike's gonna be down. Great shock dart. Evolva left on a sliver of health, but he connects the headshot far too quickly. Brave has a player up close to deal with that. He can't even connect the shot. Evolva! Pull well, it's a good thing they have, because they've lost their A control. Ravwell attempt into the nano swarms, but it's all a distraction to allow Meadow out. He's good for one, so is Hoodie. And the numbers stick in G2's favor. Kellogg's wants to get a little bit more, and that he does. These weapons are being absolutely ruined by the weaker weapons of G2, by the utility of this defensive side. An opportunity here for Boaster, perhaps. He's going to be blinded up, uses that chance to reload and trade out his teammates. No idea where the last player is, though. It's Evolva, who snuck his way around from long, but now he's given away his position. Boaster has the info to play with. The knife goes down, no utility, but Evolva no. has his gun, and that's all he needs. Rifles they could possibly want. I'm liking what they're doing with this initial denial from Hoodie. Just making sure that they can't possibly push that, or if they do, that happens. And then there's late shock darts coming in. There's the drone as well, just to get that extra info. Hell, Huddy's killing them with his classic. Doesn't give a damn. And he's getting the ace to close things out. A nice way to get your... In fact, he's just going to run out of there. It's caught a little bit. They've been able to tag him. They have. And he's just going to sit back, try and fall away. But that is well played by Fnatic. All the opening jewels going in their favor. Mormeto finally gets one back for the defensive side. But it might be too little too late. It may well be. They know exactly where he is. They're just buying time, though, allowing that plan to come through so they can get on with it, play into this 4v2 in their crossfires, and wait and run that clock down while Magna makes his way up behind. I mean, look, they don't have to take any fights, and they don't. Cody peeking out, got shut down. And then eventually, a <laughs> little peek into Meadow to close. You want to fight it. Thing is, though, a Cosmic Divide, it makes things much easier for them not having to worry about the door, but there are already players pushed past it, and they weren't ready for that, oh, but Evolva's no. whipped. Luckily, his slack Spike is picked up by the rest way. of the team. Oh, well, they're, they're facing through all of the utility and more than half of the team. A lot of that early utility. And they're actually going to throw in a drone on the G2 side by the looks of it. Almost just trying to bait things out. The swing, though, it's only going to be one foot denied a little bit, but they've got the lockdown. They oh. put it in. However, it's a side swipe onto a Vover. He's eliminated almost instantly, and they're still going to stick out this plant. They're just going to try and stay within, and by the looks of it, only one player is going to get detained. Now they have that Cosmic Divide almost working in their favor, holding back this rotation just for that little bit longer. But it has a line to start the defusal. They've almost tried to set it oh. up. It won't matter, though. Because the utility, ultimately, although it didn't kill Durka, it didn't damage him that much, it did stop a bunch of enemies in here, but that doesn't deter Nuki either. He's just going out for it, and he's winning them. He's already got two inside the lockdown, dealing so much damage. G2, they've got a leg up in this, but they have lost the sight. Don't. Oh, Kellogg's, you oh, lunatic! No way! He actually gets away with that. The swing through, and then Boaster can't do anything either. Mystic has at least managed to drop him, but he's also being flanked and still obviously suppressed. Tries to bait someone into a swing, but it doesn't work. He looked a little bit more tempered in his aggression. Like, he will fall back and not take anywhere near as many risks. We're seeing multitude of Hunter's Furies thrown out. The counter seems to have worked better. And while Brave is only going to manage one, it is a slaughter on the B site. While Brave with his only kill. Nice kill onto a Bova. This might actually. They're being cautious. They know the control they've given up. Good read by G2. And really, what we're looking at to do most of the damage. Oh, the crossfire in mid. 
Solid. They were ready for this sort of play. Watching in that direction. They have, however, caught Hoodie. And if somehow these trades work out in their favor, well, maybe there's a chance. The problem now is the position of the spike. Marvova's got a little hidey hold. Now, match point. I mean, from 9-3 to this, definitely not what most people would have expected. But defensive side ascent, G2 win pistol. Well, we knew the possibilities were there, but fair play. Realistically, the, the spike plant, if it is going to come in, they have to go through. And Durka just takes his head clean off. There's a swing out from Kellogg's, though, and he brings it back into their favor. A second and a third as well. As it's now just one man standing in Boaster, it looks like we are heading to split as he will be caught. Wow. Viper. And you've also got all of Astra's utility, or maybe you don't, because Mystic is already dead. <laughs> That's a once great man. I, should, I, probably, I, should, I shouldn't quote it anymore. I'm not going to quote it anymore. I've ruined it. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Well, great sayings have been said before. This round is going to G2. Those are the two takeaways. To slow the push in, it has delayed a lot of the early presence. Durker as well is going to find that initial frag, and the trade's still going back thick and fast, though. A little bit of an awkward spot now for Durker to be in, but luckily he's got teammates alongside him. That's not what he meant Ooh, to do. <laughs> yeah, that's not the nade he was looking for. He's got the reload off, but he's the flash popped, and there's the swing. Oh, that was okay. very nice indeed. Durka with four. Trying to set him up in order to get that online. And actually, they're going to go straight into Brave. That is the worst gun you could have met in that position. I honestly, Nuki was looking to get out of there alive. Uh, that nade landed just a second uh -oh. and fraction of one. Again, they're not going to see him. He has the angle and drops Nuki. Ult goes through and there's Meadow down and out. Spike in main. Yeah, he's just going to try and fight them, but even still, there's another player elsewhere, and Durka is just not losing a duel at the moment from G2. There's not really any need for this. Actually, the jump across allows of over the kill. Oh. Magnum's got a good angle here, but they're checking it too. G2 are being so uh -oh. conscious of these ratty little angles that Fnatic are trying to catch them off guard with. So that information still stands that they know where both these players are. He doesn't even have much ammunition within his gun. The first kill will go his way and actually he gets out of there. Leaving things into a 2v2. The res straight away brings Kellogg's back, but he'll know that there's a couple of players in this position. Unfortunately, happened. he'll do so successfully. No one really close by. But the rest of the team's economy, it's going to be feeling pro. Oh, that's an aggressive push coming out of Fnatic. Okay. He's got res. No, no. Oh, can't res. He's not going to get the chance to use it. You can't try to find the player on Spice. Uh, geez, he's going to be able to find it. And they heard not nothing. really anything coming through for Nuke. They don't. Uh, an ult that gave him some space, but the space is worthless. And he he knew there was a player on site. He decided not to kill that player so he could come into spawn and maybe catch them off guard. Even though they knew he was there, though. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, what? I, what? I've never seen anyone win that fight. Not like that. At least he gets... It, it's going to be very difficult. Now, Magnum, there's no way he expects this, but, well, he's not going to be quite as... It's, listen, it's the man behind the Bucky FC strategy. Well, what can we say? Can't really be he's surprised. The history. <gasps> oh, Mystic. Ooh. That's unfortunate. The push comes out of Brave. He can't really stay <laughs> up there. He's just going to get killed from sight, and instead he gets killed from mid. Very patient play from G2. Like I said earlier, they're ready for these ratty plays. But when it comes to heads up duels here, Boaster's at least gotten a leg up as he moves towards the site. Spike planted. Oh, he's going to be caught in the corner with the paranoia and the swing out. For G2 here. After the investment, if they could drop, you know, one or two more rifles, it would have been great. It would have kept that he got an attack side split. <laughs> okay. Nice start from Kellogg's. Just take. Well, they've at least got to slow down, but it hasn't slowed G2 from making it to the site. Down. The showstopper One about to there. end any hope of Hoodie getting in there. <laughs> okay, the spray goes a little bit out of... Here we go. Nuki is on his way across now, but he's not going to be able to find Brave. Good early fashion. They're jiggle peeking for the players coming out ramp, and they were wide peeking for the players coming out. No idea that he's going to be there, and I believe that. Oh no, the smoke did at least go off. You're done. So they'll be able to catch it, but it won't matter. Magnum spam gets another and back out and try to save this with low time on the clock. G2 stopped again. The question is whether they get away with these weapons or not. There's no chance the round goes their way. At this point, I don't think there's any chance that Fnatic push them. They're going to save these rifles through. 
Mystic has got to feel like so cursed at this point. The player tucked where he is. Uh, oh, Mystic's good for one. And Durka assists with another. The exact play that they decided to make because it was like, if you put the wall down normally, you make it up into heaven this time. But he is right down below them and they have no idea. A man behind enemy lines giving them the opening and the advantage to play with G2 wanting that sixth round, but they've lost Kellogg's. The res will come through. Look at these down below, so they can't even spawn. That's worked out quite well. Yeah, they need to clear him over. Holding the back lines with an operator. He's actually going to get legged up. He's got to be a little careful now. And actually going to try and sneak him behind them. I thought for a second he might have just thread the needle, but instead... Magnum is there waiting and watching as they now look to try and sneak back through Mystic watching the flank leaving just two players oh surviving God. over on that other side. One of them is Hoodie and he's going to use that cosmic divide to his benefit. Sneaking through, picking off a first and now Meadow needs to try and make a play of his own. Just sneak back through the corner. Another one comes up. It's all under Hoodie and he's going to end up with four kills. What a round. Before he's getting hit by that knife. The Playing with utility out there, Nuki didn't seem to think they'd be that close already. Fnatic have just overrun A, and this is going to be a free plant. Ooh, okay. Hoodie's definitely feeling it after the last round. Brings things back into a workable position. They've still got a clear Brave, who is just trying to hold on to that ramp control. And in fact, he's got his whole team with him. The swing might be a little bit of a surprise, but they're actually winning every single duel that goes their way. The reclaim doesn't work, and now only two remain. In fact, only one. That flash, not quite landing onto everybody. We are going to see... The not far enough forward that's going to cause pistols. too many problems. It's going back, that's the thing. They don't know that this is a full investment. Up from Fnatic, Boaster actually gets one with a frenzy. Oh, you are so nasty. Remaining players of G2. Nice start from Nuke. Gets out of there without really taking any damage either. And an extra kill here would grant him a nade, which... Could be enough to pick off one more. Now, Brave is still in this corner. Hasn't been able to escape just yet. And Boast is so desperately low that oh. there's not really going to be much option for a trade. Oh. It's on to Nuke to try and do it all. Leaving it down to just a couple left. Right, Nade. The time starting to tick away. And they almost line up for him. So deadly in every... I... Ooh. Okay, the wall's up in B, but they're pushing it. I'm a little bit scared. I was more looking towards the A site for combat, but... <laughs> different ideas in the camp of G2. They're just running on in, looking to take these weapons down. A strange time to do it when they've got the bonus to play effectively, right? They've got those weaker weapons in hand. Oh, and no. Oh, no. The distraction in B mains left. Kellogg's caught. Could have come down to communication. As said, it could have come down to... It may not be needed in this sort of round, but they are very well set up. That play inside of can help you secure that round. You see that in the fact that nobody has died on Fnatic yet. They're still on the site despite these pistols rushing in. Eventually, though, they get a little bit oh too my. close. The time is low, though. So the round's already won. Ultimately, oh, God, they've been ruined. <laughs> they've been yeah. absolutely destroyed in the hold. Cypher almost got caught in that as well. If he got caught by that, he was done. Kellogg's is dashed yeah. back into two players after one kill. Showstopper's used. Little does Durka know. He that set up. And, oh, it hasn't worked. Now, G2 have to pick. Somewhat diminished. They might be able to at least try and bring back one Mystic. He already gets the first. It's going to be traded out. Hoodie's actually found another, but the flash is solid from Boaster. And they now have that heaven control. And this is where things become so difficult. The main play is just going to be smoke and try and get onto that spike. Try and hold on. The flash is good, but they have the lineup. The ping onto the spike is not going to deny anything. And they know now that Avova's within this great setup from Fnatic. Perfectly played. Is left with just a pistol. Okay. He's going to get himself one. And actually hits a pretty heavy tag onto the second of over. Is slowly being pulled out of position. And his spot might be given away in just a moment. Durka will take one. But here comes Kellogg's. Looking to try and do this on his own. But the knives have missed. And brought back into a 2v2. Pushing up, Brave, though. The crossfire's there. Mystic spotted, now stuck behind the wall. He's got to go out, and Meadow survives with a sliver of health. 8 8. Oh, oh. Brave getting a haircut for a second. 
Durka's managed to find one, but he's got his backup. We highlighted oh. Brave as that's in metal down below, able to at least catch one more. But now they're surely gonna swarm him. He'll do well to stay alive if at all, but no, he's down and Kellogg's is a little bit late on that rotate. The spike will be planted, and a 1v3 commences. He'd already dropped his rifle in anticipation, ready now to play with this Vandal in hand. A really tough clutch ahead of him. He's going to be spotted. A barrel seen right away by Mystic. That's 12. I'm giving him plaudits again. Like, Brave was just so ready. He was just watching, just making sure that there was no way anybody could get aggressive and take down the star fragger of the team. And after that point, it, everything just fell apart. Like... Match and series point here for Fnatic, and they open it up by taking down Nukia. The pistols are doing practically nothing. The rifles follow suit. Meadow, the last remaining man, Waldity, going to be disabled as well. And the G2 fans asking an impossible task of one of the new boys on the block. And uh, I, I don't even know where he goes from here. Boast is going for a knife. I think he saw Redguard do that earlier and was like, you know what? I can steal that one away and set Brave. The new boy is going to come.